diagram shows an electricity distribution circuit feeding domestic and industrial load. The electricity is supplied by a transformer connected to the high voltage grid. The distribution circuit at medium voltage is connected to the transformer by a circuit breaker which opens if a short circuit occurs downstream to protect the network components from becoming damaged by the short circuit current. Before the circuit breaker's protection system operates, causing the breaker to open, fault current flows which can be 20 to 50 times the normal load current. During this time, customers experience loss of supply. The high fault current, if allowed to flow for too long, can damage network components including cables, overhead lines, transformers and switchgear. To deal with this problem, network components all have fault current ratings which can be 20 to 50 times their normal continuous current rating for a short time period, typically one second. Networks are subject to changing demands and their operators have to cope with requests for new connections or disconnections which alter the expected short circuit current value which is referred to as a fault level. Distributed generation connected to medium voltage circuits can significantly increase the fault level. When the increased fault level exceeds the ratings of the network components, they are at risk of potentially catastrophic failure. In these cases, the typical measure to prevent damage is to restrict the capacity of connected generation. Alternatively, additional impedance in the form for example of series reactors, can be connected to limit the short circuit current. This, however, introduces additional losses and can lead to difficulties with power quality, causing the supply voltage to vary with varying demand. We have a new device which provides a real solution to this type of problem. The fault current limiter is a component with dynamic impedance. It exhibits negligible impedance when carrying normal load current. The impedance rises automatically and rapidly in the presence of much higher current. The FCL can be safely added to an existing network without making any other changes. Under normal conditions, it presents a negligible reactance and dissipates very little energy. In the presence of a short circuit, the FCL increases its reactance, limiting the short circuit current significantly. With FCLs in the network, it is possible to allow a greater contribution of energy from renewable resources without increasing the short circuit current to potentially damaging levels. This can eliminate or postpone the need to replace expensive equipment. For more information, visit us at asgsuperconductors.com. Oh.